My name is Katie Chang and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science at Vanderbilt University. My lab is called the Neuroimaging and Brain Dynamics Lab, or Nerdy Lab for short. Before coming to Vanderbilt, I did my graduate work at Stanford in electrical engineering, which is where I received my PhD. And then I worked as a postdoc at the NIH. In terms of getting started in this field, I didn't know specifically what I wanted to study when I was an undergrad at first because I found everything to be really interesting, but the summer after my freshman year, I ended up finding a research opportunity in a lab that studied the brain using methods from computation and mathematics, and that was the first time that I learned that this kind of field existed, and I really found it fascinating. The research in our lab is right at the interface of neuroscience, computer science, and engineering. We're studying human brain activity using a technique called functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, and this detects changes in blood oxygenation as an indirect measure of neural activity. So it lets us look at dynamic patterns of activity that are unfolding across the brain and over time. We can gather this data when people are in the scanner, engaged in certain activities, like listening to music or problem solving, and we can also look at just what's happening naturally in your brain when you're resting with your eyes closed, or entering different brain states such as sleep. One of the overarching questions that we work on is how can we take all of this rich but complicated data and use it to understand how different regions across the brain are coordinating with each other as networks to process information and how the circuits and dynamics of the brain are impacted in neurological and neuropsychiatric disorders. So our team works on new approaches for pulling out richer and more interpretable information from neuroimaging data in order to drive new discoveries in neuroscience and medicine. For me, one of the most exciting things about this research area is that it's so multidisciplinary. So in our lab, the students and postdocs come from backgrounds in electrical engineering, computer science, biomedical engineering, physics, and neuroscience. And I love how we can work together to come up with creative ways to approach difficult research questions. Being part of the VISE community has been great for connecting our lab to other groups that are merging engineering and medicine, which promotes the exchange of ideas and new collaborations. One of our close collaborations here at Vanderbilt is with the labs of Drs. Vicki Morgan and Dario Inglot studying epilepsy. We're conducting unique brain scans using a combination of imaging technologies um, to study how epileptic seizures are disrupting the activity and neural circuitry of the brain. We hope that this basic knowledge can ultimately lead to new treatments for improving the quality of life of individuals with epilepsy.